this question it's talking about the value of a machine being depreciated by 20% depreciating as in decreasing by 20% every year so decreasing as in you have to subtract 20% telling you that the new value will always be 80% of the original 80% as a decimal you can write it as 0.8 okay now understand the question is asking you to find the value at the end of five years so what kind of sequence is this or where does this question even come from is it from a uh, percentage is it from um, some kind of sequence to, to find out that because it's been clearly told to you that it's going to get depreciated by 80% which means you have a multiplier here the fixed multiplier so when you have a fixed multiplier then the kind of sequence formed is always geometric so they have given you one important thing that's the initial value which is 1250 so 1250 happens to be the initial value now they want you to find the value at the end of five years it's very important to note one thing 1250 it represents the initial value as in the value in your zeroth year I mean that is what I can call it right because if you'll call this as the value in the first year then from this year you want to go five year ahead okay then which term are you finding actually is the sixth term if you consider this as your first term okay this is the main important thing here or else what you could do is you can say that this is the zero year or this is the value in the zero year so now you want to go five years ahead so you can think going from zero year would simply be take the value take the initial value at zero year you times by the ratio 0 0.8 how many times you exactly do it for five times because you're starting at zero year the logic is if you're counting from the zero term then to reach every term you're just multiplying that ratio for that many times okay so that is the reason why it makes sense that we have to times it by the power of five if you'll say the power of x then you will use the regular formula for geometric progression which is just to take the first value and times it with the ratio for one less time than the position so you would do six minus one in that case so just remember it this way it's kind of easy if you're starting at the zero year then the power is always raised upon that many times from wherever you want to go or the power is raised for exactly that many times as you want to go ahead from that particular time okay so this is what you have to do and once you're done with this you will do your calculation so one two five zero times eight upon ten to the power of five you can go ahead and do your calculation in the best way possible so eventually the answer here will simply be 409.6 this is how you approach questions based on what problems on geometric series or geometric sequence